Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Speed Bag. Today, a little segment that I like to call, well this is so perfect. Wait, is it too perfect? So good news and bad news, I would ask which one you want first, except I don't actually care. So I'm going to give it to you like this. Bad news, Luke Rockhold is hurt. The fight with Jacques Ray Souza is off. All of Melbourne is, according to my sources, just in tears. Good news, remember how Michael Bisping was saying he wanted to defend his UFC middleweight title at UFC 206? Also remember how fans were saying that that event was, and here I'm paraphrasing, weak sauce bro? And maybe in need of another awesome fight to kind of shore it up? Also, also remember when Jacare Souza's manager said that with Luke Rockhold out, his guy would not accept anything except for a title fight. You might actually not remember that part because that just happened, but I'm telling you now, so remember, the stars have aligned. It's the perfect situation. Bisping wanted to fight at UFC 206. He also needed to do the thing where he, you know, fights a middleweight contender to A, shut everybody up, and B, do the thing that champions usually do, which is fight someone in their weight class who has, you know, ideally proven themselves to be one of the best around. Nothing ever going to keep them down. UFC 206, it needed another awesome fight, like badly. And Bisping versus Jacare, that's an awesome fight. Plus, I don't know if you've been paying attention to the series we've been doing about, you know, UFC financial information, but the bigwigs over there need to sell a lot of pay-per-views between now and June of 2017 in order to get that full $4 billion purchase price. So... It's perfect, is what I'm saying, for everyone. It's not, it's not going to happen, is it? Ordinarily, you could say, hey, maybe Bisping can't be ready in time. I mean, he did just get his whole face blown up by Dan Henderson like a month ago. Let the guy rest, you know, catch up on some Netflix. Except he did kind of just stump pretty hard for a fight with George St. Pierre at this very event. And when he couldn't get that, he asked for Nick Diaz also at this very event. Basically two guys who aren't even middleweights, much less than middleweight contenders. Or maybe you could argue that Jacare doesn't deserve it. I mean, he did lose to Yoel Romero not that long ago. His current winning streak is holding steady at one. Except that's exactly the situation Dan Henderson was in when he got his middleweight title shot against Bisping. So also Nick Diaz hasn't won a fight in five years and basically stopped fronting? I mean, I get it. Bisping wants to make some money, man. He wants those pay-per-view buys. And, you know, who can blame him? Except they already did let you fight a guy who was so old that not only did he retire before the fight even happened, he basically already sent out that retirement party announcement to all the neighbors where you're like, hey, sorry, it's going to get a little rowdy. We're having a party, but don't worry. We'll tuck it in by 9 p.m. because we're super old. Just saying, you know, you got to fight a real middleweight contender eventually. You already told us you were available. You already did the whole, hey, be a hero and sign the papers thing to somebody else about this very date. So you kind of painted yourself into a corner. And if you're the UFC, I mean, maybe this isn't the dream Michael Bisping versus Nick Diaz fight that we've all been talking about since never, but it is still a legitimate middleweight title fight that will help shore up what now looks to be a kind of weak pay-per-view that will help you make some more money, and last time I checked, you guys really like money. But who am I kidding, right? I mean, I know it's not gonna happen. It would make too much sense. It would be too awesome, too much fun. It would be too worthy of the time and emotional energy that we invest into this sport. But MMA fans, we just don't get that lucky. Not, not in this sport. Or do we? No, no. But maybe? Please?